Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 284. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 276 to 284. Hey, we have some data here, and this could be a huge chunk of data, but we're going to make a chart and run into a common problem. Now notice these are years and change. This shouldn't be hard to do. We want years along the horizontal axis, and we want a line chart for our percentage change. Uh, the problem ultimately is going to be is that Excel has a hard time because this is typed in as a number, and so is this. Let's highlight this range like that. And in 2007, you go to the Insert menu. By the way, I always have lots of notes. I have steps for 2003 and 7 in notes up above. But in 2007, you go to Insert, Line, and I'm going to pick this one right here. And I'm going to have to point to the edge and click and drag to make it much smaller so we can see. Look what it did. It got totally confused. It gave us two lines. And I don't see years down here. Now, what, what can we do? Years is what we don't want. So I'm going to click right there and just hit Delete. Delete, and then there we have it. All we have to do is fix this. In 2000, by the way, Control Z. I'll show you a second way to get rid of that. In 2007, you have to go to Design, and then Select Data. The trick in 2003 is you have to go to the second step of Chart Wizard, Series tab. All right, here it is in 2007. We need to. Here's years, right? And so we can uh, remove. And by the way, this is the trick to charts. A lot of charts, um, data gets put in the right place, or you want to add data later. This step in 2007, or step two in the chart wizard in earlier versions, you can add and subtract any way you want. Then you have your um, horizontal category. You just click uh, Edit, and then Access, and we need uh, our year range right there. And sure enough, it got it just like that. Now I have a bunch of formatting because my screen's all small here. Let me get rid of that. Delete. There it goes. Uh, let's look at another way to deal with this. You could actually come down here and enter your dates with apostrophes if you're entering in from scratch. Then Excel won't get confused and won't think it's a number. So apostrophe 2004, apostrophe 2005, and then I had uh, 3%. I had whatever, 4%. 7%. And so now, when I highlight my data, because these are labels, words, text, Excel won't get confused when I go to Line. And so there it is. Right off the bat, they get it right. They have the percentages on the uh, vertical axis and the years down here and this. Now, um, if you're entering data, you know it might be quicker to do that. But if you have huge data sets, then of course, uh, knowing how to manipulate your chart in a source data or step two of the chart wizard is an awesome trick. All right, we'll see you next trick.